Hi guys, welcome to concept of mathematics and today I will explore the synthetic division method of polynomial. Let us first understand what is synthetic division method of polynomial. It goes as follows. Synthetic division is a shortcut method for dividing two polynomials which can be used in place of the standard long division algorithm. So why do we need synthetic division method? Well, Sometimes it goes very long to get quotient and remainder upon dividing one polynomial by other, which is rather easier to get quotient and remainder by using this method in just few steps in comparison to long division method. Let us learn some standard rules which are to be followed during synthetic division method. First one is Dividend and divisor must be in the format given below. That is, the dividend and divisor must be in this format only. All powers of variables must be present starting from 0 to the highest degree of the dividend and divisor. Suppose a divisor is third degree polynomial, then all powers of x, that is x cube, x square, x, and x to the 0th power must be present in the expression. If power is missing, then it must be inserted with 0 coefficients at correct position. Suppose a cubic polynomial 4x cube plus x plus 5 is given. In this polynomial, x square term is missing. So, we will insert a term containing x square in this expression like 4x cube plus 0x square plus x plus 5 which does not change its value. This rule of inserting missing power is applicable to dividend and divisor both. The next step is to remove all variables with their exponents. Suppose the dividend is 3x cube minus x square minus 1x minus 4 and the divisor is x minus 1. So we will remove all variables with their exponents from dividend and write down the coefficients in a line. Here we will remove x cube and write down 3 Again, we will remove x squared and write down negative 1. Again, we will remove x and write down negative 1. And of course, negative 4 will be written here. Now, we will drop the highest degree term of divisor. In our case, the divisor is x minus 1. The highest degree term is x. So, we will drop this term, okay? Then, we will negate the coefficient of remaining terms. Our remaining term here is negative 1. So, we will negate negative 1. Then, we will get positive 1. Now, the next step is write down coefficients, that is 3, negative 1, negative 1 and negative 4 of dividend in a division like format here and negated coefficients of divisor to the left of this bar. Okay. One thing to note here. I have put a red vertical bar and blue vertical bar here as we know when we divide third degree polynomial by first degree polynomial our quotient will be of course second degree polynomial so i have left a placeholder for second degree polynomial here this will be called the quotient section this part will be called remainder section okay now next step is bring down the leading coefficient of dividend without any operation. Then multiply 
थ्री बाई वन एंड प्लेस जस्ट अब द नेक्स्ट कोफिशियंट हियर ओके नाउ एड थ्री एंड नेगेटिव वन विच इज प्लस टू नाउ मल्टीप्लाई टू बाई वन विल गेट टू देन एड टू एंड नेगेटिव वन विच इज इक्वल टू प्लस वन अगेन मल्टीप्लाई वन बाई वन टू गेट वन एंड राइट इट डाउन अब द नेक्स्ट कोफिशियंट ओके देन एड दिज क्वान्टिटीज वी विल गेट नेगेटिव थ्री दिस विल बी द कोफिशियंट ऑफ आवर क्वेश्चन एंड दिस विल बी द कोफिशियंट ऑफ रिमेंडर now our next step is to multiply 3 by x square 2 by x and 1 by x to the 0th power and negative 3 to x to the 0th power we will get 3x square plus 2x plus 1 after adding these quantities of course our remainder will be negative 3 times x to the 0th power that is negative 3 only now i will show how to perform synthetic division at a single go take our first example this is our dividend and this is our divisor so first we will look for the missing term in this expression x to the first power is missing so it has been inserted at correct place then write down coefficient here and drop down the highest degree term of divisor and negate the coefficient of remaining term in this case remaining term is negative 3 and negated coefficient is of course positive 3 we will write down in a similar fashion as we did earlier now bring down the leading coefficient that is 1 without any operation here then we will multiply 1 by 3 and place over the next coefficient here again we will add 3 and negative 12 which is negative 9 and multiply this number by 3 which is equal to Negative twenty-seven. Again, we will add negative twenty-seven and zero. We will get negative twenty-seven. Again, multiplying this number by three, we will get this number that is negative eighty-one. Add these numbers, which will be negative one hundred and twenty-three. So, what is the meaning of these numbers? This is our quotient section, and this is our remainder section. so this will be the coefficient of highest degree term of second degree polynomial that is x square so we will write down 1 x squared this will be the coefficient of next term that is x to the first power that is x so we will write down negative 9x and this of course will be the constant term of the second degree polynomial that is negative 27 and remainder will be negative 123 again we will add these quantities to get the quotient now our quotient is x square minus 9x minus 27 and remainder is negative 123 till now we have seen the examples in which the coefficient of highest degree term of divisor is 1 only now we will take other example in which coefficient is not 1 our first step is to look for the missing power in the dividend in this case dividend is 4x to the fifth power plus x cube minus 3x square plus 2x minus 7 in this expression x to the fourth power is missing so we will insert at correct position which is between x to the 5th and x to the 
cube and our divisor is 2x cube minus x plus 1 in this expression x square term is missing so we will insert x square term with a zero coefficient at this position we will write down coefficient of dividend in a division like format here I have left uh, three placeholders for our quotient because as we know when we divide fifth degree polynomial by third degree polynomial we will certainly get a quotient of second degree polynomial so I have left a placeholder for second degree polynomial our next step is to drop down highest degree term of divisor our divisor is 2x cube plus 0x squared minus x plus 1 we will drop highest degree term and negate the coefficient of remaining term in this case the coefficient of x squared is 0 so we will negate 0 and put it back here and coefficient of x is negative 1 so we will negate negative 1 and put it here again we will negate plus 1 and put it here here there are three terms here I have placed blue vertical bar three place from the right this is as many as the number of terms to the left of red vertical bar okay now bring down the leading coefficient of dividend without any operation and divide it by 2 which is the leading coefficient of highest degree term of divisor when we divide 4 by 2 we get 2 now multiply 2 by 0 and write it down here again multiply 2 by 1 and write down here again multiply 2 by negative 1 and write down here our next step is add these numbers which equals 0 upon dividing by 2 of course we will get 0 only upon multiplying by 0 by 1 0 and negative 1 we will get 0 only okay now add these numbers and write down here again divide it by 2 which will be 3 halves now multiply 3 halves by 0 1 and negative 1 respectively to get these numbers add these numbers column wise to get negative 5 7 halves and negative 17 halves this time don't divide by 2 since these are going to form remainder and we know remainders are the quantities which are not involved in division these numbers are the coefficient of our quotients okay and these numbers are the coefficient of our remainder upon multiplying we will get our quotient 2x squared plus 0 times x plus 3 halves and remainder will be negative 5x squared plus 7 halves x minus 17 halves and that's it try to solve this at your own by using synthetic division method if you missed some concept watch this video again also I will highly recommend you to pick up some good questions from your book or internet and practice again and again to master this method if you like this please comment and share next time we will meet with some great concept of mathematics till then goodbye and thanks for watching